tools required for installation are a flathead screwdriver, a 7, 8, 10, and 13 millimeter socket, quarter inch drive ratchet, quarter inch drive extension, a pick tool, and a spring clamp tool. Install time is two hours, depending on your vehicle model. Install difficulty is a three out of five. Remove your front bumper. Bumper removals vary from vehicle to vehicle. Mishimoto has created bumper removal installation guides to match your specific vehicle. Remove the two pop clips that secure the front shrouding to the radiator. Then release the two tree clips connecting the temp sensor wiring to the shrouding and remove the shrouding from the vehicle. Be sure to clear the crash bar upon removal. Do the same on the opposite side of the radiator, minus the tree clips since there is no sensor. Place a drain bucket underneath the petcock and radiator, and then loosen the petcock to drain the coolant. Remove the radiator cap to expedite the draining process. Remove the two bolts and washers that secure the radiator, which includes the two radiator stays located on the top brackets. Remove the four bolts that secure the AC condenser to the radiator. Note the L-shaped bracket on the bottom connection of the driver's side. You will need to reinstall that bracket later in the installation. Separate the MAF sensor and induction hose from their ports on the intake pipe. Loosen the clamps on each end of the intake pipe where it connects to the throttle body and filter. Our loaner vehicle had an aftermarket intake installed. Expect that yours will look different compared to the one shown in the video. Loosen the clamp on the filter within the housing and then separate the filter from the pipe. Pull the filter out of the airbox and then remove the intake pipe from the vehicle. Compress the clamp on the upper radiator hose and move it down the hose. Then separate the hose from the thermostat housing on the engine. Compress the clamp on the upper radiator hose and move it down the hose. Then separate the hose from the radiator. Disconnect the electrical harness at the back of the fan shroud. Remove the two bolts that secure the fan shroud to the radiator. Lift the fan shroud out of the engine bay. Compress the clamp that secures the outer hose to the radiator and slide it down the hose. Separate the lower radiator hose from the radiator. These connections are often tight, so you may need to use a pick to separate the hose, but be careful not to cause any damage. Drain the residual coolant remaining in the hose. Remove the four bolts and washers that secure the radiator support. Then remove the radiator support. Be careful when removing the radiator support as the heavier components will become loose. It would be best to have someone else help in holding up the bar as you remove the last couple of bolts. Lower the radiator from the vehicle. Due to the radiator size and the position of the AC condenser, it will be useful to have someone else on hand to help with this step. Transfer the rubber mounting isolators on the stock radiator to the Mishimoto radiator. If you ordered MMRAD SRT09, depending on your AC condenser, you might need to install the bracket, two bolts, two washers, and the one spacer. This attaches to the top right of the radiator when looking at it from the front. Use the long bolt provided to attach the AC condenser. If you do not need the bracket, simply install the AC condenser using the four bolts and the two clip nuts provided. If you ordered MMRAD SRT15, depending on your AC condenser, you might need to install the bracket, two bolts, two washers, and long bolt. This attaches to the top right of the radiator when looking at it from the front. Install the clip nuts on the left side. Attach the AC condenser using three bolts and the long bolt through the bracket to secure. If you do not need the bracket, secure the AC condenser using the four bolts that hold it in place. Install the Mishimoto radiator into the vehicle. Reinstall the radiator support while holding the Mishimoto radiator in place. This step will go smoothly with help. Align the holes on the bottom of the radiator support with the rubber isolators and secure with the original hardware. Attach the lower radiator hose to the port on the Mishimoto radiator. Secure the connection with the original clamp. Reinstall the fan shroud behind the Mishimoto radiator. Use the clips and bolts included in your kit to secure the fan shroud to the radiator. Slide nut clips over the brackets on the radiator before bolting the fan shroud into place.
Reconnect the fan's electrical harness. Attach the upper radiator hose to the port on the Mishimoto radiator. Secure the connection with the original clamp. Reattach the upper radiator hose to the thermostat housing and secure the connection with the original clamp, making sure the clamp passes the bead roll on the port. Install the nut clips including your kit on the passenger side brackets of the Mishimoto radiator. Use the provided hardware to secure the AC condenser to the radiator. Use the two bolts included in your kit to secure the driver's side of the AC condenser to the radiator. On the bottom connection, reinstall the L-shaped bracket you removed earlier. Connect the radiator stays to the Mishimoto radiator and secure them to the vehicle's frame using the original hardware. Reinstall the passenger side ducting using the original hardware. Then do the same with the driver's side ducting while remembering to reattach the tree clips you removed earlier. Reinstall your front bumper. Install the intake pipe, connecting it at the throttle body. Secure the connection with the available warm gear clamp. Lower the filter back into the airbox and connect it to the intake pipe. Secure the tube by tightening the available warm gear clamps. Connect the MAF sensor and induction hose to the respective ports on the intake pipe. Fill the cooling system with pre-mixed coolant through the reservoir filler neck. Start the engine and allow it to idle with the cap off. Turn the heat to full hot and put the fan on low. Monitor the engine temperature and coolant level in the reservoir. Add coolant as needed to maintain proper level in the reservoir and check your connections for weeks. If the vehicle begins to overheat or coolant starts to overflow from the reservoir, Shut the engine off and allow it to cool before continuing. Once the vehicle is fully warmed up and the coolant level has stabilized, allow the vehicle to cool off completely and then top off the coolant level. Coolant level should be checked once more after putting in some miles.